Morning all, we are back out with Eclipse Motorcycles and riding this for a customer and it's back on my favourite, yes, the Lexmoto ZSB rear rack. Disc brakes front and back, decent set of tyres and it's just a bare bones bike. Probably one of the best bikes that Lexmoto do and at the moment the price has dropped by £200 which means these are cheap as chips. Well under two grand for your first 125 bike, you can't go far wrong. Five speed box, little analog clock for your revs and your mileage comes up at the bottom. On the display along with your fuel tank, miles elapsed and a gear change indicator. So we're going to go out, we're going to have a test ride. Super wide mirrors, can't fault it, great bit of kit and it gets up the speed very very quick. So through the box we go, two, three, 40 mile an hour area, four, and taking it nice and easy on the revs, just to wear the engine in, as it's a brand new engine, as always, we're going to get in some dual carriageway at 40 mile an hour, and have a run around, and it is decidedly foggy, icy, and cold this morning, which is horrible for me, but we're going to crank up the mileage, we're going to put around about 10 miles on the bike, one quick test ride, and then I am back out, we're on the AJS Firefox this morning, and we are also on a Medina, we've got the red and white Medina to test for a female customer, so coming in on the rear brake, dual braking, does it stop on the rear brake, oh god yes, and just step down through the box, There we go, so all good, nice little tick over on it, and it does tick over very very low, run about 1200 RPM, just need to adjust that up a little bit, get the throttle tension up, now that is done on the little screw on the back of the carb, very easy to get into, and all you do is just tighten up the screw, so that easy, but you get a neutral light as well, tells you when it's out of gear, right, Stuck behind a learner, let's get off and let's test ride. Through the box we go, 40 mile an hour down the your carriageway, we'll come off at Asda's like we normally do, a little bit of a round town mileage and then we are back to the garage for the next test ride. So while we're doing this, what have we done this week? Right, well busy week last week at the garage, very busy and the single crewed Wednesday and Thursday, Phil was in Devon Friday, Saturday and yesterday, which meant I was on the spanners all week, long weekend, and obviously if you haven't seen my super sausage run, I haven't been out on the big bike for a couple of weeks, and I actually got out Sunday and I had a run to super sausage, I needed it, and it's done wonders for me, I've enjoyed it, I've had great fun getting out on Sunday, having a little ride, having a black down the A5 with Captain Picard and the Enterprise, but that's all I'm saying about that. So much so, going so fast, that the camera decided it was going to flick down with all the wind, because obviously look down on the camera phone. GoPro use a thumb screw to lock the camera in, and obviously once it starts wearing, or you don't tighten it enough, the camera can flip about. So, Hence why I have ordered the DJI Osmo, because to get the GoPro out and get any media off it, you have to take it off, get the thumb screw undone, take the camera out of its media mod, and then plug your camera into a USB to get the footage. The Osmo Snap Link Mag Connector, one click, it's done, seconds and plug in. How quick is that? And the Osmo actually has better quality, better audio, than you will with the GoPro. Now, my mic, I have a radio mic on the side of the uh, crash helmet, I've got a Rode, and the receiver is on the side of the media mod, which means I can unplug the uh, GoPro, put the Rode mic on my clip, on my collar, and then when you put it back on the helmet, you have to clip everything back on. DJI have come up with their own wireless mic that goes straight into the Osmo Action. You don't need to mess about and you can just stick their little mic anywhere, a bit of Velcro inside the crash helmet, 
carry it around when you're doing interviews check the mirror look over the shoulder all good but the Osmo is a lot better for moto vlogging so Osmo action has been ordered I should get it this week and I'm looking forward to actually trying out the new DJI Osmo Action 4 so you'll get a full review of that you'll get to see what it's like when I motor vlog now we have been using the 360 and because I've got so many test rides this morning I'm not going to be using the 360 I'm just going to be down at the GoPro just to knock these test rides out one after the other they're literally on off of one bike straight onto the next out off of one bike onto the next then out again so uh, we should be doing that I'm stacked with MOTs today the Royal Alloy is almost done just got to put the panels back on that full engine replacement on that one and we should get out and test ride that Royal Alloy hopefully as well so that will be fun and we're coming off at this exit nice and easy to see the indicators working there check the mirror shoulder check and come off here now my youtube channel i love when i get comments and uh, some guy went, um, we had one the other day he went oh your lane placement on roundabouts is absolutely awful really okay i tend to Follow the directions. Now, on a roundabout, left lane is normally left and straight over. But, some lanes, the right is also straight over. It depends on uh, where you are on the roundabout. And I do a lot, a lot of roundabouts. So, uh, hence why uh, my lane placement is bloody good, actually. Unless... Of course, I am on the big bike, and there's nothing in the outside lane. I will cut the roundabout. Same as what a car driver does, but I always watch the mirrors. Or quick shoulder check. Nothing behind me. Why not use all the roundabout? Yeah, straight over. You find the best line for your bike. So, what's the point in going first lane all the way round the roundabout to go straight over? If there's nothing behind you, trim it get yourself a straight line through the roundabout you're not affecting anybody else but apart from the keyboard warrior that likes to oh well you shouldn't be cutting the roundabout you shouldn't be cutting the roundabout car drivers do it everybody does it if you've got nothing behind you what is your problem so enough said on that subject we haven't seen james for a while probably the fact that he has been banned from the live streams on every single one that he has tried even trying to come in at Ro as roland keith uh, track back about three weeks ago to the uh, Friday Night Live when we had Limey Rider, Peaky and Stu in the stream. And uh, that was quite funny actually. I'm not going to say exactly where the time is, but uh, if you scroll through the live, go on, I'll let you in front. There's always one that wants to merge in turn. I don't mind. You jump in there, matey. Audi. Yeah. Less said about Audi drivers, the better. So, a little bit of round town mileage. Now, he's going down the outside. That is a right turn only. Is that Audi going to turn right? We shall see, shall we? So, Audi, right turn. Yeah, indicator comes on at the last minute. Yes, it's a little stick at the side of your steering wheel that tells you which way you are going. There's always one. Right. We're going to hook here because I'm going down the long way and then we will cut over in just a second. Now this is my favourite roundabout. Coming up because people never get their lane positioning right. Shift right. Why am I shifting right, you ask? Because the next roundabout coming up, I need to go right. Now, road markings, straight over, straight over, as you would expect. Coming in on the back brake, and I love the back brake in wet weather, as I always say. Front brake, dry day, rear brake, wet day. It's the easiest thing to remember when you've got a dual braking bike. And hopefully, we've been uh, fiddling with the audio on the GoPro again, because uh, 
picked up there was a lot of wind noise the other day but I have got my uh, neck warmer on now as we come down to the roundabout you have left straight over and right watch where the BMW goes so that is a straight over lane is he going straight over no he's turning right look at that right hand turn lane and he goes straight over so he's in totally the wrong lane typical BMW now he's in a left turn lane and left turn no indicator again amazing around here there was a funeral cortege oh dear so cranking up the miles from the garage we're going to go round town now and we're going to get in the lovely sights of Bletchley round the roundabout we go look correct placement <laughs> I'm self-checking myself now. I know which lane I should be in. And the old B&M building is still up for sale. They said it has sold, but no one's done anything to it. They're meant to be turning that into retail units. Not happened yet. Right, left-hand side, down here. And there are diversions everywhere at the moment. nice and easy to puddle around 30 mile an hour on the ZSB enjoying it and it's decent upright bike as well really is a nice comfortable ride as your first bike now obviously the customer that came in uh, Saturday to look at a ZSB thank you very much even though I am indicating right Womble. you're going in there thank you very much so the customer came in Saturday and uh, she'd been across to uh, white line motorcycles who was a CBT school in Tame and uh, I know Dave and his wife quite well oh well, I've just done my CBT with white line brilliant good instructor very good instructor so he runs out of sort of Oxford Tame and Dave and his partner do CBT DAS and all that together so if you're Oxfordshire, white line, another little plug for a, a CBT school there. But she said, oh, I, I did my uh, CBT on Alex Moto. Which one was it? Well, it looks like that one. So I went, what school did you go to? Yeah, he got ZSBs, yeah. Great little bike. So she's quite happy with the ZSB. And they're a great little bike to ride. And the cheapest one. So, yeah, she's going to obviously watch a couple of my videos see what it rides like and then uh, obviously decide to buy one you can wait go. slow down for the person on the zebra our favorite little pub which used to be owned it's called now called captain ridley's shooting party it used to be known as the Bletchley Arms and was owned by a very famous wrestler run 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 it was owned by a very famous wrestler called Johnny Kincaid and if you happen to remember the days of sort of Big Daddy, Giant Haystacks and Kendo Nagasaki if you happen to know your wrestlers they were very well known and obviously Johnny Kincaid was a famous Bletchley racer, a uh, wrestler, racer, wrestler. And uh, he used to own the Bletchley Arms, which had a little disco in there. And he also had a little nightclub, which was now located where them flats are. The, uh, it used to be called Peaches Disco. And he used to own that as well, as well as uh, quite a notorious pub that was on the, a thing called the Lakes Estate on Bletchley. 
and it was notorious for gang fights and a lot of uh, OOR and aggro and other stuff but he used to own that one as well so Johnny was very well known so and he was a great guy to know so I've done a few discos in his pub great fun so Bletchley has changed the old garage that used to be there is now a, a quick fit centre so yeah there's a there is a lot of Bletchley that has changed all these new units the scrapyard is still there and Goodman's have been there for absolutely donkey's years and there used to be a paint uh, paintbrush factory back in the 80s that was called Beacon Brushes massive great industrial unit that was based there it's now a Tesco Extra so Beacon Brushes used to be based there great fun now she's warm she's ticking over nicely let's go let's get back to the garage I'm going to warm my hands up and uh, Come on, Mr. Jaguar, let's go. Sitting at a green light. Scourge of my life, e-scooters, I hate the things. Let's uh, go down the pavement at 30 mile an hour and hit a few pedestrians, why not? Oh, deja vu, didn't we just do this route a second ago? So, ZSB is all good. Shed load of miles on it. Happy days, another one done, final QC with me, sign it off, register the bike, happy days, job done, and this one is going all the way down to Essex, so another happy customer, do it right here, into the garage, and cup of coffee to warm my hands up, and a quick smoke break. On to the next one, which is going to be the Firefox, and then we're on to the Modena. Round the corner we go, back down here. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that sort of stuff. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, let us know what you think of ZSB, but until the next time, be well, ride safe, and from RB, as always, it's a big goodbye from me.